Hello, how you doing everyone? Just wanted to get a video out so you have a whole week where you can think about this and plan with your students. They have a week to pull this off, but it wouldn't take any more than one class period, you know, if you still got some of those. All right, this is gonna be a video with three different ways to make a Christmas card for friends, family, teacher, loved ones, parents, whatever it is. So this video is not going to be all encompassing because then the video would be just hours long, but we are going to go through three different ways, Adobe Spark, then we're going to go through Canva, and then we're going to go through just good old Google Slides, which would be the same in theory as PowerPoint. And in CNUSD, you have access to all four of those, so everything will be good. So think of this video more as ideas because this will work from, you know, TK up to 12. Now with TK, they might need a little bit more help. Yes, a parent could be sitting with them while they're making the card for the parent. You know, that would work. 12th graders all the way up there could be doing some crazy stuff. So really just think about this as idea and the levels of your students. So let's go ahead. We'll go super fast and the theories will apply with everything. So if nothing else, you can skip to like three sections of the video here. So first with Adobe Spark. So Adobe Spark is an app on the phone as well. And yes, it will sync between the phone and the computer. So it could be done on either one. You could simply just sign in with Google because you know, we have that single sign on, everything will work and it'll go in here. Now you could search for templates. You could search for different things if you want. You know, you could just, you know, look up something like Christmas and easily they'll just pop up. You could pick any design, edit this template and super easy. It'll turn out great. But then the creativity will obviously be a little bit lower because everything could be done. But, you know, the simply just click on it, you know, they could edit the words to whatever they want it to be. You know, they can change shapes. They'll be able to change colors with different things. Very easy, very user friendly and, you know, not too many ways to mess up or anything else. They'll be able to download theirs. They could put it, you know, in their Google Drive, whatever they want and super easy so i know that's you know very short tutorial on that one but they can just get as complicated as they want changing everything they want they could start from scratch a blank page but it's very very easy and if you saw on the beginning page they could make something a certain size if they want so maybe they're like i want to make a cell phone wallpaper for my parents whatever they want they'll be able to do that an instagram post whatever will work and it'll all be there in their account and they'll be good all right second one would be canva and canva for education is free um you can set it up it'll be all good everything easy and free then there's like an extra kind of canva for education because canva would be free Canva for education, you know, it does take a little bit more to sign up. I'll put the link in this on the blog post. Um, but then you have access to even more because they give you more and more free because think, you know, usually have to pay for pictures and rights, that kind of idea. Um, but we'll be able to get into our Canva. So once we sign into Canva, Canva is amazing. You could do tons and tons and tons of things with Canva. So everything is all good. But let's just say you just wanted to create something. So you could look up something, you know, same thing like a card. But, you know, really, it doesn't matter. They could create a design. You could be taking your students as far as you want, teaching them, you know, what good sizes are or that kind of thing. You could be learning on your own if you don't know, but you could just pick any size and everything is really self-explanatory on the side and students love just trying to figure out and play around with everything. They could do something as simple as just finding a photo. So, you know, you help them think of their search skills. What are they looking for? So maybe they're looking for snow or snow background. They could look something up when they drag it, if they drag it like halfway on the screen, it'll just automatically go full screen. They could go down to text, add some text. They could just add, you know, regular pre-made kind of fonts, or they could be, so let's do that first. So they could add regular pre-made fonts like that, you know, click on it, change it, change the colors however they want, or they could just be adding something 
and then they could be changing, you know, the font and, you know, it just goes on and on and on with the amount of fonts they could go through. So really they could spend as little or as much time as they want. Cause you saw how, oops, you saw how easy that was, you know, just dragging something in and putting it in there. Elements, think of those like kind of like little pictures. So maybe they want, you know, a Christmas tree. So again, depending on your grade level, you know, do you need to give them those words, help them spell those words? Or, you know, give them a bank of words of maybe things to look for, things to put on. You know, do you need to show them how to make things bigger or smaller? And then they can get more and more complicated. Oh, I want to send that backwards so my text is in front. You know, you could be teaching them all those kind of things, you know, different art skills, how to line up things, whatever, you know wants to be done but really they could be like boop done you know obviously parents are gonna be happy they'll be amazed by their children's art skills but again you could look around with everything and there's tons and tons you could do they could be uploading you know their own picture of themselves to put on a card whatever they want there are obviously templates of different things so they could be looking up you know oops different templates for things and whoo, you know, we already got a lot. Maybe, you know, they were trying to make a little party invitation, you know, for pajama party at home, whatever it is, I don't know. But everything's all right there, very easy. Just like the other, they can share it, download all that good stuff. And you see, you can have classes. So you can make your classes in Canva. So um, I'll have another video linked that shows how to basically set up a class in Canva and everything. It's a longer video, it's not mine, but if you need help doing all that. But really you have a class, you can add the members in your class and look, just boop, import from Google Classroom. So you could already have all your students added in on your class so they'd be able you know, to, to use it. That kind of idea, they automatically be able to sign in with their Google account. And then like we just saw, then you could be able to you know, share things to your class and that kind of thing. And they could share back and forth to you, you know, depending on your grade level, maybe you already want to just make a cute design and show them. What I did with my class is I showed them one and they just kind of copied, made their own and did it however they wanted. But you could make, make one and just send this to them and they could just edit the things like maybe I wanted a different color, maybe I wanted a different size. And you know, you could be working on those different ability levels. All right, now option three would be just Google Slides or PowerPoint. So think this could go as simple as you want or as complicated as you want. And it could be any level because I know we're all at different levels with our learning as well. But think about, you just start with a blank presentation. You could have a student start with a blank one, or you could give them a template one and share that template with them in Google Classroom and they could work off your template. You could even give them a couple different pages. So maybe you have two or three different temple templates, like different levels for your kids to work on where, you know, some students, they'll be ready just with a blank page. Don't worry about it. I got this. And other ones will need the elements already there. So think about it this way. You could have students create things. It could even be a lesson like, hey, students, let's go ahead and create a snowman. So you're going to need to start drawing those circles, drawing, you know, those shapes. Do you know how to do it? Students, you know, that kind of idea, changing those colors. Do they know how to change different colors to different things? And it could be a shape lesson and they could be drawing their whole Christmas card just using shape. So, you know, you could be like, do you know how to make a tree out of whatever shapes you see and they could try to start building you know some sort of tree or presents or who knows or just a winter wonderland background but are they able to do it with shapes with colors and that could be a thing uh, if your students aren't at that level or you just want to give them the building blocks well you could give them the different shapes so maybe you already have your different shapes that you want and you say all right build a snowman you know and the shapes are around the page you know and they just have to go ahead and drag those around to build it to make the card as they want and you could be obviously teaching them the skills if they don't have these skills already in google slides so then they'll have those skills for later in the school year so do they know how to change a background like maybe they want you know their green background for christmas and they're ready to go 
that kind of idea. Or maybe you're trying to teach them how to put an image in on their background. So do they know how to search for an image, you know, doing a Google search? So maybe they just want to find, you know, winter, and then they're going to find that picture and they're going to change that background. So maybe that's what they're looking for and they can do it that way. But, you know, a lesson can always be teaching other skills, as we obviously know. So then now your students will be ready for doing more or maybe they already have these skills. So it's something that they can easily do because now they can just add in those text boxes, whatever they want again. Like I said, with the other ones, you could have word banks and things. So you could create another page where maybe they need help with spelling certain words. You know, like they don't know how to spell Hanukkah or, you know, whatever they're going for. You could have those words here. Maybe they need words to search, like maybe they're language learners and they don't know all the different words that you're trying to look for, like holly and bells or whatever you want or just giving them those words, then they'll be able to do their own Google searches and find things like that. And the last thing you could do is think about it kind of like a Bitmoji classroom kind of idea where you could have your slide, you could put everything in there, you could find all those quality images. And when I say that, I'm saying you could find images either by, you know, just searching for images as you know how to do, you know, inserting images, you could just search on the web and you could find all those images that you want. Like let's say Christmas tree and you spend the time finding those ones that you like, then you find all of those images. Then you're going to put all those images on the slide and then the students can design it as they want. So as long as your students know how, you know, stretch things and teach them, you know, don't just, stretch in the middle or on the side, you know, stretch from the corner, teach them those skills. Maybe you do need to teach them those skills about how to maybe order things. So then they go in front of or in back of something else. So then you could teach your students those skills. So if, even if you put all the pictures on their forum, they'll still have a unique card because they'll be able to drag things around, put things however they want. You could even have your text with your pre-made message, whatever you want. You could even have that pre-made font and they could just change whatever words they want in there. And you could make a whole lesson out of that. So you have those different ways to make those cards. Then of course, they'll be able to save it, share it if you need to teach them those skills as well, whether it's just saving in their Google Drive or you know they're trying to download it on their computer. But obviously we want their parents, their loved ones, whoever they're sending it to, to see it. So if you need to show your students how to do that, if you need to show them, you know, maybe how to download it as a PDF or just download this slide as an image or things like that. So that way they'll be able to share it with others and they could always share it back in your Google Classroom assignment so you could see them all as well and it'll bring you joy as well. So hopefully that helped. See you later. Have a good night.